Chess friends, how are you? Chess.com organized a chess tournament where top 12 super chess engines with play against each other at Blitz Chess Game. It's the same Blitz game you play in the bedroom or the toilet before going to school or work. Success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts, so let's go, I started the game with d4, we have knight f6 c4 which is called Indian game to control center squares, torch played e6 and his next move will be d5 or c5 Benoni defense, g6 is also possible there, knight f3 and he played Benoni, he didn't play queen's knight variation move d5, so I pushed the d-pawn and I faced b5, that's a awesome move. I have to choose the top engine move which is why I sacrificed my first pawn on e4, by sacrificing the pawn I developed my bishop instantly, in stockfish level chess, sacrificing one pawn or one piece doesn't create a major difference for me but it is sure that if a human sacrifice a pawn in front of the same LO rating opponent then he might lose the game, opponent will promote the pawn into queen at the end game and will checkmate you, we have rook e1 with the idea of playing bishop f4 or rook b1. Castle and after some moves later we have queen a5 to target the knight, so I moved up my rook, torch takes the advantage for the rook with knight g4, rook d3 and here black can push the e pawn which is the best move, let me show you the variation, I will capture it, takes takes, then bishop f6 to lasering the dumb knights at the same time with rook, so f4, then black will play d6 but we will ignore the knight with knight e4. Best move is to take the knight with bishop and continue the game like Ian Magnus equal game, but if you dare to take it with pawn then we will take the bishop, takes queen g4 check, the king position will be hell and I will create much troubles for him with the queen and moving the pawn, so after king e7 takes takes rook f3, bishop and rook will line up on there so rook f8, queen g5 check king e8 d6, you had to play queen d8 to protect that square. But that will not help anything because I will win up the rook on f7, the king have to divorce the queen but if he decided to stay with his love for example king c8, then rook c7 will be a checkmate, true friendship is like a rose, we don't realize its beauty until it fades, so back to the position, torch is a ordinary guy so he moved back his knight simply, d6 to seize black position completely, bishop f8 knight d2 with the idea of playing knight e4 to target the knight and look at the position. If you observe my every games, you will see that I always restrict my opponent's positions and his pieces action, we have knight c6 takes takes to target my rook, so knight e4, here if you play any normal move for example knight d4 then we will take the knight, takes and the file will be wide open, we will involve the rook first, king h8 queen g4 to deliver checkmate, so bishop here, but black will face checkmate in. Few moves. Encourage yourself believe in yourself, and love yourself, never doubt who you are, so back to the position, torch takes the knight, takes, black king position is totally restricted and I will use my pieces to attack him, that's why I moved up my rook long time ago and the queen is also ready to attack black, we have knight d4 bishop to e5 and I want to take the pawn on c5, then the rascal knight with bishop and rook, so we have knight f5 to protect it and now torch want to move up his f pawn. So I slide the rook on h3 to get this file, queen g4 is coming, h6 queen g4 queen takes a2 to target this rook to make me like a 200 LO rated player, so rook a1 with the bishop support, queen c2 rook c3, and look at the queen, she have no square to go expect one, queen b2 queen d1, to protect this pawn and I want to capture the c pawn to target the queen, it will be dead lost situation for you, so we have rook b8, knight f6 check, that's a brilliant move and it is beyond human comparison. If you dare to take the knight, then it will be the same situation what I taught in previous variation, knight takes rook then you will simply lose your queen on b2, position will be in my hand so back to the position, we have king h8 and rook b1, the queen have no square to go and if you play queen a2 then I will capture the d-pawn, rook d8 rook takes bishop rook takes knight, then rook a1, queen b2 rook takes pawn, you will lose the queen anyway. The art of life is to know how to enjoy a little and to endure very much, so back to the position, here torch decided to take the pawn with bishop and sacrifices the queen, bishop takes e5 to lasering the rooks but I played knight e4, 
Any normal human would take the knight because human brain always think about gain more and more things as possible, but bishop takes rook isn't good because your position will be insecure after doing bishop exchange for a rook, so he expanded his structure with d5. We have rook e1 and you should not take knight, also you can't even take the rook, because your position and structure will be more and more bad, this is beyond human intelligence so I can't explain the 20 to 40 moves of variations, ok we have c4 rook to h3, here he takes the knight, takes and in this position you shouldn't save the bishop, because I will simply win up the pawn, I will get the perfect rook position and so many things. Human species can't understand about this position because their brain is made for playing 200 elo chess or ludo, so in this position, we have c takes b pawn, sacrificing the bishop, to get the b pass pawn, that was the idea, however I can defend this position, and chess friends, if you want to be smart in chess and be a 2800 elo rated player then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get more episodes. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.